Hi guys, so today I just wanted to show you a really quick eye look. Um, this is kind of my everyday go-to. It's a brown, subtle, smoky eye. Um, I really like it because after a little bit of practice, after doing it a couple times, it's really simple to do. Um, it actually goes really well with everything. It's a very natural look. Um, so It's not as fast as my 15 minutes or less look, but um, it's still pretty quick and it's easy to do once you get into the routine of doing it. So um, if you guys want to try it out, just go ahead and follow along and if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to focus on an eye makeup look that doesn't focus on the products or colors I'm using. I want this to be something that you can use whatever you might have in your makeup bag or whatever you prefer to purchase from whatever brand. I don't want to focus on that too much. So you can see I've just kind of prepped my eyes with a light shade of skin color. And then here I'm going in with a tapered blending brush and adding just a transition shade. Again, that just makes sure that all your makeup builds on evenly and doesn't get too streaky or patchy. Um, I'm just kind of putting it in the crease of my eye, but kind of sloppily because it doesn't have to be too sharp or too clean. And then I go in with a little bit denser of an eye brush and I add just a little bit darker of a shade. Again, with eyeshadow colors, you always want to build and build and build up to the color. You don't just want to throw on a really dark eyeshadow um, because it's hard to bring it back down and you'll get really harsh lines. So you want to use a couple of different shades to really achieve the smoky look, even if you're, uh, I mean for any look, but even if you're just doing something simple like a brown like I'm doing here, um, you really want to build up to the darker color rather than trying to build back down. So here I'm just adding in a little warmer of a brown on top of that original transition shade and then I go in with a much darker brown here. And so notice how I'm putting it all in the corner of my eye and just lightly bringing it in, um, keeping it on the outer side of your eye. And that V shape that I always talk about really helps keep your eyes open and big and not make your makeup look too heavy. Uh, that's why this is such a great everyday eye look. And you can do this with any color. I mean, you could do this with different shades of pink or you can do this with um, some lavenders or purples or browns or if you want to go for a more dramatic smoky eye, you can even do blacks and grays. So this is a really transitional technique that I use. And then I'm just applying that light color right into the center of my eyelid. Um, you don't want to go too far up because you want to keep that dark shade in the crease to give you dimension. And then just a little bit under the brow. And this is really quick and really easy, you guys. It's very similar to a lot of the eye techniques I've shown you in my other videos, but I just wanted you to have something to work off of and something quick and short to watch if you wanna practice your eye makeup. Um, so that's why I'm providing you with this video. And then of course it's an everyday look, so I just found a really skinny um, black crayon pencil eyeliner. So I'm just applying that in a very thin line. Notice how I don't bring it all the way into the corner of my eye, the inner corner, because that will also close off your eye or make it look smaller. You really want to start, depending on the shape of your eye, you really want to start um, in between the center and the inner corner. So somewhere in that area and drag it out. And the further you pull the line out, the bigger it'll make your eye look. Uh, but if you're not looking for a wing, you can just extend the line a little bit past your corner of your eye and it will still look big. So there are just a couple of techniques in here that can help you amp up your everyday makeup. Um, but again, I just used four colors here and you can swap that out for any color family you want. Um, but the most important thing is to build, 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 and then to keep the dark on the outside and the light in the center. Um, and then I just add a little bit of eyeshadow to complete the look um, to my lower lash line and then finish it off with mascara and you're set. And seriously, you guys, this is such an easy look. It's so quick. And once you practice it enough, you really get the hang of it. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.